everybody. I've been actually really excited to make this video. Here today to do a wee haul, well not so wee, here today to do a haul from what I consider to be one of the best quality alternative clothing brands. One of the things that I believe in doing here on my channel is to recommend you good stuff. I get asked all the time to promote products and websites and things and I'm like no. And if I don't think it's good I'm not going to tell you that it is. So I'm feeling excited to be able to show you some stuff from a brand that I like I said do believe is one of the best quality alternative fashion brands out there and one of my personal favorites you're probably familiar with killstar i'd be pretty surprised if you hadn't heard of killstar by now they're hugely popular you know this one here killstar worldwide witches i have quite a few killstar things in my wardrobe and in my underwear drawer <laughs> i really like their underwear and also in my jewelry box and they're one of the fashion brands that i actually pay attention to and get genuinely excited every time new stuff comes out today i've got a few things to show you from killstar i'm really excited they're so beautiful holy shit. i guess you can't often tell from the pictures on the website but like when you when you get the item it's like it's always the fabric is nicer than you expect and it always it's better than you expect. I don't know. Anyway, let's just get on with it, shall we? First thing I wanted to show you is this dress that I have on right now. This is the Hannah Hale Mesh Maxi Dress. It's so beautiful. I tried this on and immediately felt ready for some kind of ritual. I feel like you don't need much to dress it up. Just a nice pair of shoes, a bit of jewelry, and boom, you're done. It's so elegant and mysterious and moves beautifully. The material hangs so nicely. Plus it's really comfortable. Instant class and spooky style. There's a silky soft dress that's fitting on the body with impressive mesh flowing over that. There are holes for the arms. I love the fact that it's floor length. It might be hard to see, but there's a small moon embroidered on the back. Tomorrow night we're going out to like a, our usual dance party at a castle. I might wear this. I feel like it would be perfect for kind of gliding <laughs> through a crowd. Of all the things I have to show you, I genuinely do not know which is my favorite because everything that I've tried on, I'm just like oh, oh, so impressed by. The second thing that you can see on me at the moment is this necklace. How cool is this? This is called the Cthulhu necklace. It's basically a big chunky quartz crystal point wrapped in a tentacle. It's so cool and it has a long chain and it's really quite the statement piece. Having a great big chunk of crystal hanging around your neck, it looks so cool. I know crystals are like really trendy and popular at the moment and that's cool <laughs> because they're beautiful. I used to collect crystals when I was a child onwards and downwards further into the deep dark spooky depths of whatever. <laughs> the next thing I want to show you is this top dress. I'm not quite sure what you call this. This is the After Effect knit dress. This would have to be one of the best things I think I own. Since this arrived the other day I've worn it a lot because it's so easy. This is great for the weather at the moment. Just chucked over a pair of leggings looks really good. This is simple and comfortable but really cool. Like effortless style. It's warm and soft. I really like the neckline and unusual cut along the bottom. And look it has holes for your thumbs. That's one of the things that I really like about Killstar. For me, most of their stuff is what I would call kind of casual, like just easy things, but they're also like really nice. The versatility of Killstar stuff that I like, and yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain, but just the fact that like it's kind of, it's simple, but it's really stylish and like it's it's easy to look nice. How, how, how can I put this? I don't know. It's easy to look nice with these things. Anyway, the next thing is this dress. It's called the Nocturne Fallen Angel Dress. Again, you put on something like this and you feel like you're ready to go join your black plaid and hooded cronies in some underground ritualistic sacrifice. The fabric is stretchy and flows with a bit of weight to it. I love the deep neckline and find the whole thing very flattering. You could wear this in so many ways, like casual or fancy, with leggings or a long skirt. I think it looks nice with a belt around the waist. Killstar stuff isn't cheap, but I think that the price that you pay for Killstar stuff, it's fair because it's incred it's really good quality. I've never been disappointed with anything I've got from there. I get their mailing list to my email, so I see every time they start a sale and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> it's really nice to receive stuff in the post as well because it's always so beautifully packaged, <laughs> I must say. For example, all of the jewelry always comes in one of these little velvet pouches. This necklace came in this pouch. I've got a little collection of these pouches now. The next thing I have to show you is this. It's like a cape or a shawl. It's called the Nightwalker cape and 
it's way nicer in person in person <laughs> in fabric <laughs> than I thought it was going to be like from the pictures it's this little knitted cape slash shawl thing that just ties up in the front and has these long tassels and a hood and it's this really chunky knit so it's actually pretty warm I think something like this is pretty unisex I mean Killstar does make loads of stuff for guys and girls or whatever they make a lot of unisex things like my husband likes this as much as I do and he really wants to wear it out tomorrow I think I'll let him it suits him the next thing I have to show you is a bag this bag to be precise I think this is called the amber shoulder bag because apparently I needed more bags <laughs> they've got some really nice bags like things that you can take to school or university or work and also just like nice handbags I chose this one because I think that this looks like it would kind of go with anything it's quite simple but really beautiful and just it's again extremely good quality this is so nice I think it's like vegan faux leather and like Wade with this inverted pentagram here and a tassel. If you're not familiar with Killstar and this is the first time you've heard of them, which would actually genuinely surprise me, I think they are one of the better known brands for like occult themed fashion and accessories and stuff. They do use a lot of occult imagery on their stuff and as I am genuinely an occultist, it suits me down to the ground. I know that kind of thing is all a bit fashionable at the moment, but that's okay. It just means it's easier to get. Whoa. This is the last thing I have to show you, and it was the thing that I was looking forward to the most. This is limited edition. Mm. So if you want this, you have to be fast because it's not coming back. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy that I was able to get this coat because when I saw it, I kind of died a little bit inside because it's so perfect for me. The weather is getting colder and I am super appreciative of anything that will keep me warm and allow me to go outside but also not look like a Michelin man. I like winter fashion and stuff like wrapping up all warm and cozy but I'd rather do that looking nice and by wearing as few layers as possible. So I saw this coat and it's it looked so warm and so nice and now that I have it I am so happy. Oh, I'm so happy and I am not disappointed. This coat has a nice flattering shape. It's of a luxury faux suede and trimmed with shaggy faux fur, lined all the way through with cozy wooliness and warm as fuck. There are embroidered inverted pentagrams and moons which are repeated on the inside and has a cozy lined hood. I love this coat so much and I am so thankful for it. I wore this out the other day and it was like negative seven degrees and I had on just like a thermal top with this on and I was toasty. I love it so much. I think it's my new favorite winter Thing. It's called the Diana Almost Infamous Coat. Like I said, limited edition. Because it's going away and it's not coming back. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry if I seemed like a little bit over the top excited. It's just, I, I am. <laughs> like I said, I like to show you guys and tell you guys about stuff that I believe is good. I'm never going to recommend to you anything that I don't like. I will always be honest. And the fact that I seem pretty excited about this stuff absolutely freaking genuine. When the box with the stuff arrived the other day, I'm pretty sure the neighbors could hear me squealing. I was so excited. But these are all good things that should last a very long time. I'm really, really happy with this haul. I feel like these things are so versatile, so easy, but so beautiful, and eh, if I said that enough times. <laughs> so yeah, I will link to Killstar's website below for you in the description box with individual links as to where you can find each of the items that I have shown you did you have a favorite item because honestly i don't think i can choose yeah so like i said we'll link everything below i do actually recommend joining god i sound like i'm getting sick my voice is a little bit crazy every time you visit the website it'll ask you if you want to join the mailing list and i actually recommend that you do like if you do want to keep up with their stuff they bring out new things all the time they've just brought out some more new things and and if you're like me and you're looking for the times that they have sales, that's a good way to keep on top of that too. Also, if you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely spooky channel. Join us if you have yet to do so. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me on my lovely couch and looking at these lovely things with me. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time.